I think that the human body is super fascinating and the way that we can learn so much about it and use it to our advantage to make people better is awesome. If you really have a passion for it, go for it. And I think the big thing that you also need to take into consideration, it's so wide open, especially like in the nursing community. I mean, you can do inpatient hospital, outpatient, you could be the nurse at the school. I mean, so there's so many different opportunities there. I love living in South Dakota. This was our number one spot. I want to help people. I want to be their advocates. You know, you can't change the whole world, but you can make a difference in somebody else's life. Um, so I find it very rewarding to be able to do that for somebody. Ever wonder what you want to be when you grow up? Go out into the world and pursue all you've dreamed of. Have you considered where you'll live? What's your passion and how will you leave your legacy in this world? Take a moment and imagine remaining in Western South Dakota and dedicating your life to making the greatest type of impact on your family, friends, and your community by pursuing a career in healthcare. Nearly all the counties in South Dakota are healthcare shortage areas, and there's always needs for emergency medicine, we need EMTs and paramedics, and of course there's needs for the other professions such as physicians, advanced practice providers, nurses, pharmacists, phlebotomists, really the whole team uh, is needed across the state. In South Dakota, we basically have two urban counties, Minnehaha County and Pennington County. Every other county is considered rural or even frontier. And so those particular places have difficult time recruiting nurse practitioners, family physicians, physician assistants, uh, dentists. If the communities can grow their own, they have a more likelihood of maybe coming back there to, to work. Do they have to leave to get educated? Yep. But hopefully they understand where they were born and raised, they feel like they got their start, that they'll come back there and, uh, and work. There are many therapy careers you can consider. Become a physical therapist, an occupational therapist, a respiratory therapist, or even a therapist assistant. Are you a sports fan? Think about becoming an athletic trainer or a massage therapist to ease the aches and pains of athletes and fans alike. There is no limit to what you can pursue in healthcare. Become a physician or surgeon specializing in emergency medicine, orthopedics, pediatrics, oncology, dermatology, or family medicine. We have a strong need for providers, you know, whether it be a nurse practitioner or a doctor. Uh, we have a strong need for anybody in the behavioral health world. We've got lots of mental health issues throughout South Dakota, so counselors, psychiatrists. We've got uh, a need for a lot of the ancillary services, whether it be uh, lab techs or x-ray techs, anybody that, you know, goes into the supporting of those sort of areas. So every single little town here throughout South Dakota needs health care, and, uh, and so they need access to people that can provide that. There's nothing like the adrenaline rush of being an EMT or paramedic, first on the scene and often the first to apply life-saving measures and care for the sick and injured in our rural communities. Last night we had a car wreck 49 miles east of town. If we wouldn't have had people there to respond, it could have been a very different outcome than it was. We are lucky to have the people trained out in the rural areas. Those first hours when someone is injured or sick are so important. And we need people out there that can help before they get to the hospital, help stabilize them or anything they can do. It's important to have rural critical access nurses in South Dakota because we are a heavily rural state. Uh, South Dakota has over 75,000 square acres of land. And in our state, we only have 38 critical access hospitals. And a lot of these hospitals are actually the only access that these rural ranchers and farmers will have that could mean life and death for them. Ever consider being a nurse? South Dakota colleges and universities are the best places to learn. Become a certified nurse's aide, a licensed practical nurse, or go on to earn a degree as a registered nurse or nurse anesthetist or practitioner. So here at the Native American Nursing Education Center is like we create this feeling of chioshpahe, this feeling of family for our students because we, we work with several Native American nursing students that are pre-nursing and nursing with the major with SDSU. 
And so part of that is providing academic support, which means academic advising, you know, what classes they need to take and everything like that. And then in addition to that, we have social support. So that's that feeling of creating these relationships where our students feel like they belong, you know, because it's really hard for our native students to feel like they are rep represented in their environment around them. So we create this feeling here in our art, the way we do things, the way we talk to our students, really creating that feeling of home. Finding a program where there is a mentorship program or, you know, even having someone in the community to mentor you through it is beneficial, especially if you are um, taking care of your parents, your grandparents, or if you're a mother or a father, single parent, because you need that support system. So we set up that cultural feeling, environmentally, materially, and, and values, and the way we are as Lakota people. And so that is very strong. That gets them rooted. And then we have the social aspect of support, as well as tutors, mentoring. I, that's my, my part of the work here is mentorship. Uh, my mentor has been Bev Warren. She's amazing. I could call her my grandma. <laughs> I, I don't know if she knows that, but I adopted her as my grandma. Um, she's lifted me up through so much, and I probably wouldn't have been here if it wasn't without her. To have that person believe in you when you really don't have it. Healthcare careers come in many forms, and you're sure to find the right fit for you in South Dakota. Consider dentistry, pharmacy, or working in radiology as a technician, performing sonograms or CT scans, or work in a lab as a manager, technologist, or phlebotomist in charge of gathering blood and fluid samples. When you think about dental care, you think about smiles, and a healthy smile is, is super important. There's a connection between your oral health and your general health. There'll be some retirement, so uh, we'll be looking for new dentists, and it's a, it's a very good career. There are three schools in the state that um, you can go to for dental assisting. There's a dental hygiene school at USD. And right now, I know in Western South Dakota in particular, dental assistants and dental hygienists are in um, high need. In today's society, careers in social work, counseling, and mental health specialties are in extremely high demand in every community. The most rewarding thing about doing outpatient mental health and being a counselor and running a social service agency is really each and every day you get to bring love, mercy, and support to families and individuals that need that. And to watch so many of those families turn their lives around. And so many of those young people that we work with who are at high risk, you know, getting off those paths and really being able to bring their gifts to the broader community. Strengthening marriages, um, helping young families learn how to more effectively parent their kids, um, brings a joy to your life. And you know, after having done this for 29 years, you know, people ask me about how do you measure the impact you've had in the community? And it's really simple. I see it. And that's the nicest thing about serving in a rural community. You know, for me to walk through the mall or at Walmart and look around and see couples together that I worked with around marriage counseling 10 or 15 years ago, to have young people that come up and tell me that they appreciated the work that I did to help them get through fifth grade. Working with women who have gone through domestic violence and not only assisted them through a difficult divorce and transition, but watched their children um, go on and get degrees in, in college and become local community leaders. Um, you see that impact every day and it, it's an extraordinarily rewarding thing to do. Regardless of where you think you'd like to go or what you'd like to do, consider the opportunities for you to make a real difference right here in South Dakota. I think it's really important for people to realize that the universities and the technical colleges in particular are right here in our communities in South Dakota. And we really want our communities to be awesome because we live here too. And we need awesome healthcare providers. And if we have people in our communities that 
don't want to leave home and they want to come to school in a place that's close. The technical colleges and universities in South Dakota can help with that in major ways. And because of all the clinical locations that we have in South Dakota, specifically Western South Dakota in our case, people can go back to work in the area so that people don't have to leave a region that everybody loves and that you know people can make really good um, homes for their families and great places to raise kids. Did you know that healthcare careers in South Dakota are among the fastest growing and most rewarding? Many students even secure jobs prior to graduation. The need for pediatric nurses in a rural community is huge. Um, the need for pediatrics in general in a rural community is huge. Uh, families need to stay together when their child is sick and if we don't have the nurses to care for those patients, um, they could get transferred somewhere else, somewhere where they're far from home, far from the rest of their family. So it's really crucial in a rural setting that we keep our patients here, we care for them here, and that they get to stay with their family and their support system so they can get better even faster with that emotional support. So we're really passionate about having a healthy um, pediatric healthcare program here in Rapid City. In addition to selecting a career with the purpose of helping others, these jobs in healthcare offer some of the greatest financial benefits as well. Most importantly, you can remain here in South Dakota to pursue your dreams and to do something that makes a lifelong impact on you, your family, your friends, and your community. Growing up on a reservation, from the time we're born, you're not going to succeed. You're going to be a high school dropout. You're gonna be an alcoholic, you're gonna be a druggie. All these things compact you and you start to believe, oh, I'm never gonna be anything. And I did, I went through adversaries. I didn't graduate high school, but I went back and I did finish. Um, and I just wanna be a voice to say that you can do it. I wanna tell those kids that, yes, you are something, you are beautiful, you can do it. It is a very rewarding career. It's a career that has unlimited potential. You can work with kids, babies, elderly, in the emergency department. You could become a manager. There's unlimited opportunities as a nurse, so I really encourage you um, to consider that. There's a big need for it, and it will be one of the most rewarding things you could do. What I see as the future of healthcare is you. It's me. It's the kids that are in high school now. It's the new graduate nurses. And I think what people need to realize, especially the younger generations, is you are the future. Now is the perfect time to start researching all of the possibilities for a career in healthcare. Just remember to think big, because when it comes to healthcare worker needs right here in South Dakota, there's something for everybody. You are the future. You are the cure. Explore the endless opportunities in healthcare right here in South Dakota. Log on to West River Area Health Education Centers at westriversdahec.org.